Hey there, I'm Matthew Blades, and welcome to our newest feature. It's called Press Level All Access. Do you ever wonder what happens on the west side of jobbing.com way, way up there where only the media is allowed to go? I kind of wonder the same thing. So over the next couple of weeks, we're going to take you on a behind-the-scenes look at exactly what's happening in those rooms that have that sign on them. So now we're over here in the TV side of things, and Doug, one of the first things that I noticed is that somebody's left a basket of fries here, so just give me All right. one second. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, Matthew perfect. didn't have dinner tonight. Yeah. So as we continue this interview, what exactly is going down here in the TV side that's so different from over there? Well, as you can see, you got all the monitors, the telestrator and stuff. Over here, where in the home booth, you saw an engineer, they've got a stats person. Tonight, it's broadcast, Matt's up here by himself. Tyson's down between the benches. Okay, here's the question. A lot of times during the interview, or during a game rather, you'll have an interview down on the bench. I mean, I, I get technology, but how does that all facilitate? Actually, it goes through the truck, through the production truck. So they'll line that up with the PR department prior to broadcast. Okay. And that's all set ahead. And it's all, it's all dictated by the NHL. So now what you notice is you're uh, walking around the TV booth is there's all kinds of lighting. There's another camera in here because these guys are calling the game from up here, but they're also on TV during inter uh, the intermissions. They're on TV going into commercial breaks, all those. Sure. While the viewers are watching the game, Matt's up here watching the game as well. And then during an intermission, he'll turn around and he'll face this camera and they'll do what they call a split screen because Tyson's down below. He can't sit beside him. So then they put them, the two of them together and they can talk to each other that way. How much preparation goes into uh, you know, putting a game on TV? It seems like a big effort. There's a lot of cameras, a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of moving pieces before the TV truck even gets here. I mean, there's an operations manager back at Fox that lines up transmission, lines up the truck. Then you got crewing. Somebody's got to line up all the crew members. And then everybody's got to be scheduled. And then the producer's got to go do what he's doing. Production meeting after production meeting. And then they get their storyline developed. Wow. Now, what happens in the event of uh, an amazing play outside and replays? How, how, how do you get all that stuff together? It's all done in the truck. It's all magic Everything. in the truck. Gosh. That's, uh, that's Graham uh, Taylor and, and Jason Moody down in the truck calling all that. One of the things that viewers will notice is that most of the times, Tyson's downstairs in between the two benches and Matt's up here doing the show. Why not have the two of them together? Well, if you put Tyson down, he's ice level. So as a color analyst, he's closer to the game, he can feel the game, he can hear things that's going on both benches, so he can bring all that perspective to the broadcast. So as we wrap things up here, you know, I think it's really cool for our viewers to get a behind the scenes look at what happens and how you produce a radio show, how you produce a TV show. And I know for me, a guy who does radio every single day, it's interesting to see how a sporting event gets put on the air. And you guys do a great job. All right, well that's gonna about wrap it up here for our open tonight. We've got a game to play.